You got any uh, any prompts uh, you would share with us that, that's working for you? I've heard of the chat GPT to mid-journey flow, but I haven't messed with it myself. So I think the biggest thing is that you describe the material, the product, like in the beginning. So it's like it's a hard, like if I was doing a, um, a diaper bag, it would be like it's a soft, um, you know, soft uh, felt type material or um, bag that has leather accents. And then, then you, then you're more specific about the, what the product is. It's a diaper bag backpack. Uh, the, and then you, you tell the, like the next step would be, you can, you can prompt the colors. So you're like, uh, it's uh, gray with uh, brown leather accents. And then you prompt more specific. So you're like, uh, it has, um, two side pockets and a front pocket. And then, then you describe more in detail about that front pocket. So the front pocket opens up wide. You can see. Yeah, uh, what's inside and then you can describe maybe what's inside but you know like th the biggest thing is like you have to keep iterating your prompt based on the fact that what it understands you have mm -hmm. to it's like talking to a little kid and the kid tells you what it understands and then you're like okay well let me get a little bit more granular here or more specific so once you have all these elements then you can start to get get into it more nice cool yeah, I've, I've played around with Midjourney a little bit. I haven't done too much with it. I I heard you could like reverse engineer it now. You can like give it an image, and it'll describe it or something. And people are using that to help with the prompts. I haven't used that that function. I I start with an image sometimes. So I I'm also this is huge. Um, the last couple nights, late last night, I was using it for this. I found one of our best sellers, the, one of the lifestyle images was not up to par, right? It just did not meet our quality standards. And I hate that. So I have, uh, six people on my, my design team and content team in, in, uh, in China, I've got a video guy. I've got a couple photographers, a couple designers, and a, you know, I've got a lead designer and I sent them this image and I'm like, this is and they've been on vacation for last week. I sent it like four days ago. They're like, oh, we'll get to it when we get back. I was pissed. Like, I, <laughs> anyway, so I was like, all right, um, this is not up to standard. None of this, this type of image should never, ever be published on any of our products. Like it was just obviously Photoshopped. I hate that. So I was like, make this better. And so they, they, they attempted to do it better. And I'm like, you know what? Give me a minute. And I went into mid journey and I took a picture of someone doing the activity like um that i wanted them to design into google i just went into google images and then i grabbed that image that was in a similar style of what i wanted i put it into mid journey and i used that as a reference point and then i okay. started to describe what i wanted and i was getting back and then you have to add like the quality the maybe the camera that it's shot with the depth from the angle like you you, you get more you get more specific on that but I, I, I got, I don't know, five or six awesome lifestyle images that I gave them. By the time I went to bed, that image was updated and a hundred times better. It looks amazing now. And it was done so fast to where like you, you can't tell it's Photoshopped anymore. And this would be something that would cost me thousands of dollars to get a photo shoot done. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> That's insane. I got to play around with that more, man. That's cool that that's what you're like, you're, you're focused on at, at the moment that like you have the, you know, the well, space that's the to focus that's going to drive the most business for us, right? Like, like yeah. drive our business forward, which is the product selection, the development, the design, the conversion, right? So if I'm helping with, if I'm going through and I'm auditing the, the content, the images for our, for our existing products, that just bumps conversion. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a lever. And then the other lever is just new product development, which is, um, if I'm involved, the batting average is significantly better, right? Like mm -hmm. over half the time we're going to reorder it 60, you know, or 80% of the time we're not going to lose money on it. So I'm, I'm comfortable investing and in going into more aggressive categories now. Yeah. Nice. The best thing I figured out with chat GPT so far was like, uh, I was trying to get some reporting done in Slack daily reports from data and click up. And, um, I was like how I was asking how I can get it from one place to another. It talked about Zapier. I was like, yeah, I already know about that. I was like, can I do it with a Python script? I've never done scripting or anything. Right. Like I just, and it was like, oh yeah, you can do it with that. And I was like, all right, how can I do it? And it was like, go here, set this up and get this account and use this code. It gave me the code. And like, 
I was like, this is crazy, man. I mean, I just, yeah, I've been thinking about this for 10 years and I just figured it out in like five minutes, <laughs> uh, by having a conversation with Chad GPT. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I incredibly powerful. Uh, I know nothing about coding either. So for it to tell you, okay, now go here and paste it there and do this. And so like, give me, give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. And yeah. For you. It's, it's insane. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's crazy, man.